Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another lovely Sunday. Um, I'm going to take you through another update. Hope you guys liked the video on smashing up that uh, rear bumper. It was fun for me. So let's, uh, let's get to it. And pow! Yeah, that looks pretty nice, huh? So this just got uh, final sanded and then six coats of clear on them. So those are the rear scoops for the turbos. And I will say they're not perfect, but man, they look pretty good, especially out here in the sun. These are the side scoops for uh, the radiator inlet. And they turned out all right too, so I'm pretty happy. Um, you know, a, a trained eye will see some waves in the paint, but you know, like I said, I'm just not that concerned with that right now. Um, after we show the car in all of its carbon fiber glory, we will certainly uh, paint it, um, but we will leave a lot of this uh, carbon fiber uh, basically as you see it now so that uh, we'll have some accent to the car. So, but uh, yeah, those turned out really nice. The other thing that we did was we I went ahead and put some 3M uh, primer on the periphery of our windshield um, so we're gonna we need to do more because you can see there's some areas where it didn't quite black it all the way out so I'm waiting on that and uh, we've taped off the uh, window surround I'll probably be taking this out um, to put onto a table and then we'll mount the windshield on this that way I can get the maximum number of clamps around it so that the windshield is in there, has the bow in the vertical direction and the horizontal direction. I did push down on it a little bit. It does have some deflection. So we're gonna have to deal with that as we go. Uh, we'll see how it works. You know, I mean, the ultimate solution, guys, is I have to go to glass and I have to find a professional person to cut it. Um, I've had some issues doing that. So I'm hoping that uh, we'll be able to uh, get somebody in uh, that can do it. So anyway, uh, Lexan will do great for now. That will allow me also to get on to the rest of the panels. Uh, next on the list is the engine cover. But uh, just before that, we've got to finish up the rear diffuser. And what we're doing here is we've taped off all the places where we have the bare carbon fiber showing through. The places that aren't taped are gonna get epoxied and then they're gonna get this mess on there which is basically chopped up carbon fiber strand. And so it's actually starting to look pretty nice. We'll clear over the top of that and then we'll sand it all smooth and then we'll give it a clear coat. So stay tuned for the results. Um, I'm confident that it'll be okay, whatever it is, but at the end of the day, we could just uh, paint over it, um, which I'd hate to do with after doing all this work on it. So uh, we're gonna get that uh, next. And one of the other things we're doing, God, those look nice, um, is finishing up the roof section. We've got most of it sanded out nice and flat. We put in a beauty layer of carbon fiber on the front piece, which we still have to put on some epoxy and then sand that smooth again. And then we got the lower deck uh, set in there. We get, we'll get that sanded and epoxied in as well. And then we can get that back on there. Uh, the other thing too is, as you can see, I only have some tack welds holding up that roll bar. So we'll probably be fully welding that in before we put the roof back on. Anyway, short update, um, but we've done a lot of work. Uh, we try, I try to do afternoons after work, get out here, get some sanding done, uh, do half a day Saturdays and Sundays. So we're still kind of busting it out. Uh, hopefully I'll have uh, some of my help back uh, in the weekends to come. We are going to a, uh, we've been invited to go to an event uh, that is done by a company called Extreme Experiences. They um, get you into supercars and let you ride around a racetrack on them. It's a lot of fun. 
It seems pretty inexpensive. We've been invited to go down and do that. And we're going to take the car with us. So we're going to uh, Pikes Peak International Raceway. Uh, lovely people that own the place. I've talked to them quite a bit. They also would like to see the car. So we're going to bring it down there and do kind of a whole thing. Um, it's a mini car show, I guess you would call it, uh, with the with the vehicle. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be at the end of September. So if you haven't subscribed, please do. And uh, we'll see you next time.